Hey y'all, the other day I was talking to a friend and they were asking me about how to really get the most out of their groceries because they find that they often buy all the things that are, you know, good foods that they want to use and then don't end up using them. So I've come up with three things that I think are going to help you guys and uh, I know are helping my friend make the best out of grocery shopping and actually using your groceries. The, uh, the very first one that I really like is buying in bulk when you can. The things that I like to buy in bulk are primarily my meats because when uh, grass finished beef is on sale, I want to buy as much of it as I can because that stuff is expensive and I want to use my money wisely. So oftentimes what I do is I have my butcher package up a pound or a half pound's worth of ground beef and I have a bunch of little ground beef packages in small units that I know I'm going to need to cook or maybe a couple of chicken breasts in a package. Then all of those packages go in the freezer and I have them when I need them. It might mean that one grocery bill is a little bit more expensive than another, but overall I'm going to be spending less money because there are going to be plenty of weeks when I don't need to buy any pro protein because it's sitting in my freezer. So that's number one, buy in bulk when you can. And that's also true of things like onions because onions don't go bad really quickly, so if you can buy them in bulk, do. The second thing is to do one of the big things that we love here at Paleo University, which is prepping, because we definitely believe in setting yourself up for success. And you have to kind of make it a part of the whole package, right? It becomes a non-negotiable for you. You're going to go and you're going to go to the grocery store every week and then take time afterwards. And I promise it will only take you about an hour. And the more proficient you get at prepping, the less time it'll take you. Go to the grocery store, come home, and just immediately start prepping. And what I like to do personally is put on my favorite TV show, I rock me some friends, and I just get going. I give myself that hour. It's kind of just me time. I get everything prepped and ready to go so that it is used, useful during the week. Because if I don't prep it, I'm likely to not use it. Because I don't know about you, but after I've had a long day at work, when I get home making a decision about what to eat and then having to think through all the things I'm going to have to do to not just cook it, but prepare it to cook it, oh, I'm exhausted before I've even started. So prepping, I don't have to think. I don't have to do anything. I just grab a bag out of the fridge, throw it on a pan, throw it in a pot, and I'm done. So prepping is a huge thing to set you up to be successful throughout the week. The last one is to use your groceries. <laughs> That's really what all of this is getting to. Because as I said, and as my friend talked about, and as I know I've done in the past, I'll go grocery shopping, have all good intention, but not necessarily have a good plan, and definitely didn't necessarily prep my food to set myself up. So again, I come home after that long, hard day, and those groceries in the fridge, I don't really want to take the time to do all the things I need to do to get them ready. So instead, what do I do? I then most often will say, eh, it's just going to be easier for me to go pick something up from the restaurant down the street. And it means that now I've spent money on my groceries and then I'm going to spend more money on food down the street. That's not exactly making the most of my money and it's definitely not making the most of my groceries because those groceries are going to end up going bad. So the biggest thing is you want to make sure that at the end of the week your, your refrigerator is relatively empty. Not necessarily barren, but you want to look in there and say, yeah, I used all my groceries. I got to go to the store again and actually use the things that are in there. And what that means though, what I want you to do is I want you to give me four weeks of trying this. I want you to just give me four weeks of trying to use all your groceries up during that week, doing the prep and using them, using the recipes. If you give me four weeks, really what have you lost? Nothing, it's just a little four week experiment. If it doesn't work for you, if you find that it's not um, feasible for your life, oh well. But if you do find it works for you, you're gonna gain more nutrition, you're gonna gain health, and you're actually gonna gain some time back, I promise. So really, that's it. Buy in bulk when you can, prep, set yourself up, and then actually eat the groceries that you prepped and the groceries you bought. Do those three things and you're going to make the most of your groceries and save some money and time in the end.